Me Grimlock need upgrade. Me been this way for too long. Need something new. Wait. What that sound? Oh, me Grimlock not sure. Wait. Me Grimlock feel different. Hey folks, Bolt Matrix here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Cyberverse Ultra Class Grimlock. We're going to start off the video review with Grimlock in his dinosaur mode, and the dinosaur mode is fine. It's fine. It's not perfect. It's not as good as, say, his Generations or some past in incarnations of Grimlock in Dino Mode, but I respect the attempt here, and I like, I actually like the new kind of dinosaur mode they're going for. If you actually take a look at the artwork that Grimlock is shown for, or shown with as his dinosaur mode, it's more of a raptor mode than a T-Rex mode. And that's really my chief problem with Cyberverse at the moment, is other than the kind of cruddy figures overall, none of the robot modes or alt modes are all that right with the toys compared to the show. In the alt mode, he has two main points of articulation, that being what will be his shoulders in robot mode. They're on very tight ball joints. And then these articulation points that are the knees, quote unquote. The look is fine. There's nothing I could do that's good or bad with the dino mode. It just, it's, it's fine for a small child. Grimlock does have an action gimmick in this mode where he push on the right side of his back, and he barfs. So when he barfs, he also gets these flames coming out of his back, and then this thing shoots out of his mouth. It's supposed to be a flame. I would have loved for it to be a bit longer, maybe twice as long. That would be cool. And, you know, for it to look a little less like an alien face or a xenomorph face popping out of his mouth, I get they're going for, you know fire, but that looks awfully like an alien's face. Now, comparing this Grimlock to his Power of the Primes Voyager-class Grimlock isn't really fair. I will be... I don't think it's very fair, simply because they are completely different. Yes, they are named the same, and they're kind of styled the same in terms of coloring, but they're very, very different figures and very, very different dinosaurs. So we have more of an 80s aesthetic of a Tyrannosaurus versus a sort of modern take on a Tyrannosaurus. And what I mean by that is, in the modern world, Tyrannosaurus is more like this than the 80s Thunder Lizard dragging its tail like that. So you can see where I'm going with this, or you could just lean it down and then have his head just looking at the sky. Or Megatron's crotch. See? I'm not even kidding. He's staring right at Megatron's junk. Now, a huge problem I actually have with this figure is that the paint is already starting to come off, and it's rubbing off, specifically the yellow paint. You can see on the sides of his feet here, it's rubbing off, and it is doing it on both sides, so it's very hard to see on this side on the camera. And sometimes when I pick the figure up to fiddle with it, it rubs off on my fingers, which is really strange. Figures in this, at this, you know, it's 2018. Toys shouldn't be bleeding like that. Now, Grimlock's transformation is actually pretty darn easy, but it does have a few twists that I like. Flip up the little pieces in the back to form the feet, open up the tail, and then turn the pits that you flipped out 180 degrees and then fold them down over the black part of the tail and those will form the legs and then we can stand the figure up and spread the legs apart. Now for the torso, come to where the arms or the feet are and then flip out the hands which is actually either said, easier said than done. There's supposed to be a little tab here you're supposed to be able to grab with your nail but that doesn't work. Thankfully there's enough hollow area in, underneath those feet to flip out the fists and then fold them down to form the shoulders, then come into the back just behind where the head is, and get your nail in there and flip open the chest, push the dino le legs, the dino arms up to the underneath the jaw, and then rotate the entire dino mode back to the back end of the figure, and then close the chest, and we've got Grimlock! Yes, the figure is 
more simplistic, but I think the paint works well, and the overall aesthetic of this Grimlock is good. This is a decent Grimlock figure in terms of looks. The colors are nice and bright, the gray and the black work well with the yellow, blue, and the red, and overall, I, I just think the figure looks good, but the gimmick of the flame, or the flame gimmick, is really stupid, because it, it just hampers the figure so much, especially when it comes to posability. In robot mode, he has four points of articulation. Well, okay, that's not fair. There are more points of articulation. Shoulders are on ball joints that are exceptionally tight. Uh, less than 90 degree bend at the elbow, but it can also bend back a little bit. There is no torso articulation, but the figure can kick forward that much. No knee articulation at all, and surprisingly, zero head articulation, which is a shame. But I do have to give Hasbro credit. This head sculpt is quite nice. I really, really like it. It works incredibly well. It's well styled. It's well molded and it's well painted. So props Hasbro. Heightwise Ultra Grimlock is exactly the same height as Starscream. And I assume it's exactly the same height as Bumblebee, but I just can't find that dang Bumblebee figure. Still have no idea what my son did with it. And when compared with Power of the Primes Grimlock, you can see the figures are roughly the same size. Maybe like a quarter or an eighth of an inch off. But I actually like the proportions of Cyberverse Ultra Class Grimlock rather than the Power of the Primes Grimlock. That's mostly due, or at least I'm thinking, that that is mostly due to the fact that, well, this guy has to combine, this doesn't. And they're roughly the same price point. Now, you are getting a better, more poseable figure with Power of the Primes Grimlock, but I really like the look of Cyberverse Grimlock. Though, Power of the Primes Grimlock definitely has a better backpack, and posability, and play value, and accessories, and transformation. And I'm sure there's more, but I can't think of anything. Look, folks, Cyberverse is not doing so well for me. But I like this Grimlock. It's... it's okay. It's not bad, and it doesn't make me angry, which is more than I could say for a lot of the deluxe class figures. So it's readily available. You can pick it up at Big Bad Toy Store, or anywhere else for that matter at this point. And you know, I just realized something. The tips of the toes are hollow. Oh, Hasbro, why do you do this to me? Anyway... I'm going to keep getting some Cyberverse figures, probably not all of them, because, well, let's just say I'm getting real tired of picking up gems like Explodey Boy over here. So yeah, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. That is, if any of you are actually watching this. Do me a favor, share the videos, put them on your Twitter. Put them on your Facebook, put them on your Gram, put them on your other social media that I'm too old to know about. Anyway, love you guys. I'm Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you next time. Why Bumblebee smash into Grimlock? Buzz, 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 buzz. What? Me, me, me Grimlock no understand. Buzz! Buzz, 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 Me Grimlock can't move. Too stiff. Okay, me try different upgrade. This sucks. No, 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 no.